All right, guys, we are at the Walmart in Sarasota, Florida. Look at these palm, that's not a palm tree, those are palm trees. <laughs> yes, I am spending the winter in Florida, so I get cheated out of all the snow, but we are about to go into this Walmart and see some awesome Christmas goodness. right through this door where I can see an enormous Santa waiting to greet us. Look how enormous this thing is, guys. Holy crap, he's gotta be at least 12 feet tall. Look at all these awesome Christmas trees. And I love how they have the bikes surrounding the trees. Like, who didn't get a bike for Christmas? I remember several Christmases getting a bike, like a little BMX or something, you know? Look at this hilarious thing right here. This reminds me of Pee Wee Herman's bike in Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I totally need to get that bike to ride around the RV parks. Anyways, yes, look at all the Christmas trees that they have set out here. Let's see, can we walk down through the middle? Crap, I guess not. They got them stocked all the way down there. Look at this one. It's just made up of strands of light. At night, that would look totally sweet all lit up because you probably wouldn't even see the front. Well, I guess you would see the frame because it's white but it still would be cool. And holy crap, guys, look at this. They know that bikes are big Christmas presents. Look at this one here with the basket on the front. That is so hilarious. I should totally get that for Marion. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the trees here. Look at this one. I love how this one is kind of flocked, like it has the fake snow on it, and it has the berries. I love that. That is really cool. I don't know, look at the black one. The black one is a, a, like if you were gonna do a, a, a Halloween Christmas tree. $39 too, that's not bad guys. I would love to get that and do a Halloween tree. And look at this one, this has like those fiber optic lights on it. Can you see those? Wait for them to spark back up. Okay, here's some. I don't know if you can see them or not because it's so bright in here, but they're blue now, they change colors. I saw red and green. That's actually pretty cool. And I'm loving this white tree also. That is really cool. I need to find a tree that I can have in my RV, but it can't be that big. I mean, I need one that's only like four feet tall or something and very slim. Okay, here we go. These are very slim. There's three of them here, but they're a little bit too tall. I mean, I would have to literally take out my driver's seat to put that tree in the RV. Look at this one here with the snowman head. That is hilarious. Snowman head, the mittens are on the side. That is cool. That's a white tree that is completely flocked. That is awesome, I love that. Oh my gosh, look, he has boots too. This one would not fit in the RV. Here's a small one hiding back in here. That looks to be about four feet tall, but I don't like it at all. And then here's another little one here that's white, but I don't like that one either. Okay, wait, we got a couple more over here, small ones. Look at this like rainbow colored one back here. I, I don't really like the looks of any of these, although this one that's peeking out here might probably be the best one I could get. Holy crap, look at this one, guys. It's a gnome tree. It's a three foot gnome tree. They don't have that one set up over there, but that's hilarious. Oh, look, we got a three foot Wilbur elf tree. And then over here we have a Santa tree. I love that. Here's a whole bunch of three foot fiber optic trees. Those are a little bit small, and I don't think I want a fiber optic tree. Okay, now here we go. Four foot pre-lit Indiana spruce. That would be a cool one right there. I love that. I'm gonna have to check with Marion and see if I'm allowed to get it. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go on in the store and see what else we can see. Wait a minute. You gotta love an awesome Christmas train. Whenever I have my cabin and I'm done traveling, I'm gonna have an enormous tree with a huge Christmas train around it. Look, I've seen these at the Cracker Barrel. It's the Climbing Elf and the Climbing Santa. And they climb up and down this ladder with the lights on their back as if they're decorating the tree. Those are awesome. Look at this, super motorcycling Santa. That's hilarious. Wait a minute, we gotta try me? Oh, look at that, wait. Look at this. Holy crap, that is awesome. The wheels even move. Oh my gosh, look at this. We have a Grinch train. That is sweet. It's called the Grinch Express. If you can see that through the uh, 
the reflection here. And this one's called the Happy Holiday Express. Wait, we gotta try me. That's pretty cool, it's got the train sounds. Then here's a bigger one here, the Santa Express. Oh, and look over here. We have the North Pole. Well, okay, it's supposed to be the, uh, like the Polar Express, but it's just called the North Pole Express. I've seen online where you can actually get a big Polar Express train set like this one here, a huge one. That's exactly what I would order for my tree. You gotta love the Polar Express. Oh, look at the boxes over here, guys. We have store display inflatables, which tells me that somewhere in here they have a whole bunch of inflatables and a whole bunch of them that are set up. Ooh, and I see them right here welcoming us. What in the world is happening here? Excuse me, Santa and Mrs. Claus. Get a room. That is too funny. Look, he's holding mistletoe and they're making out. Oh, yes, I love the plaid pillow. That is so cool. Let it snow. Look, this one says gnome for the holidays. Farm fresh Christmas trees, that's cool. I would love to go out and be able to just cut down my own Christmas tree. Look at this, Merry Christmas on the black and red plaid. Guys, these pillows are only five bucks too. Man, these are awesome. Okay, now this is where it gets shady. You think you're getting an enormous roll of wrapping paper, but the only thing enormous about it is the big cardboard tube inside. Oh yeah, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Let's go find the inflatables first. Holy crap, look at this enormous Christmas Grinch up here. That thing is huge. I bet he's 12 feet tall. And look at the one beside it. It's like a Ferris wheel. And then there's moving characters. Like what is it? We have Santa and a snowman moving characters. Look at the top there. All right, let's back up for a minute here. Because the top appears to be like a gingerbread boy. I think that's what it is. And then right below that we have a penguin and a Rudolph, or at least a reindeer. That is pretty cool. And look at this one. It's Santa in a hot air balloon snowman. <laughs> that is hilarious. We've got Santa and a reindeer sitting around a campfire. And then we got just the basic Christmas tree over here, a Santa and a snowman. All right, let's look at the inflatables in this aisle because all the way from here down to here and then over in this area are all inflatables. So let's start with the small ones here. And look at this first one. It's called a Jolly Elf. That is hilarious. How tall is he? Oh, he's four feet tall. Right beside him we have Jolly Santa. That's not actually his name, but he is pretty jolly looking. Then above there we have the reindeer. And in fact, he's pretty jolly looking too. We have the Jolly Christmas Unicorn. I've seen a lot of unicorn stuff over Halloween and Christmas so far. Look at this, we have a Christmas kitty. It's a cute white Christmas kitty. Right beside the darling Dachshund. That is hilarious, look at him. Both of them are jolly. And a jolly little Christmas tree. <laughs> look, we have a gingerbread boy up here. He's pretty cool looking. And then down here we have a sweet puppy, it's called. I love the names for these things. Let's see, we have a playful penguin, this one's called. A Christmas gnome, you gotta love the gnome. Look, he has no eyes, what in the world? And then we have a toy soldier over here. He's not even called a jolly toy soldier, he's just a toy soldier. I'm sorry, Mr. Toy Soldier, I do see you have a small smile, so we're gonna go ahead and say that you are quite, in fact, jolly. Oh, look at this. How cool is this? Look, it's a six-foot elf. It's the Will Ferrell elf. That is awesome. I would love to get that right there. All right, let's see. Oh, and cool. Look at this one. It's Chevy Chase from Christmas Vacation, Clark Griswold. What the heck is he holding? Oh, he's holding like a bunch of burned Christmas presents. That's hilarious. Remember in the movie, whenever the cat is under the tree and it's chewing on like the light, uh, the light string? and then it catches on fire. That's why the presents are burned. That is so funny. We have a regular Santa here. Oh look, no, he's not regular, he's colossal. I'm sorry, Mr. Santa, I know now that you are colossal. And look at this, it's, is that a pink Christmas tree? It's not inflatable though. I thought it was inflatable, but 
Apparently it's not. I guess it's just one of these that you stick the little lights in and it feels, doesn't feel very heavy, so it must be plastic. We have a 10 foot tall Christmas tree. Okay, that one is inflatable. And then we have this over here, look, Santa and friends. It's a stack of Santa's friends. We have Santa on the bottom, a reindeer, and then a penguin friend. Here's a couple more colossal Santas. And then look at this one back here. It's a giant T-Rex with a present. That is hilarious. He's like munching on the present. Excuse me, sir, could you not eat my present? My parents worked a lot of hours to pay for that present, sir. Oh, here's the snowman hot air balloon. That's the one we were just looking at over there. Look, it's Santa in the basket right there. And then he's sitting in a snowman hot air balloon. That is actually pretty cool. 12 feet tall. Wow, that thing is huge. He almost touches the ceiling up there. And then Mr. Grinch, who I thought was 12 feet tall, he must be about 10 feet. Because he's, I mean, he's up there. But if you look at this one over here, he is just about touching that ceiling. Okay, look at this. We have Santa's Sugar Shop Giant Archway. Look at that. It's a giant sugar shop archway. Look, it's, it's a snowman sitting in a cup a mug of hot cocoa. <laughs> that one is 7.2 feet tall. That's still pretty big. That would be cool to have in your front yard. And like it's pouring down snow and people walk through there to visit your house and get presents. Oh, and here we have Santa in the red vintage truck. Look at this. I love inflatables like this. We got the red vintage truck. We got Santa in it. Look, there's even antlers on the front. That is hilarious. We got a snowman back here. And uh, um, I almost called it a pumpkin because I'm used to filming the Halloween stuff. It's a giant Christmas tree and you have Mr. Penguin Friend riding on the tree. Oh, wait a minute. There's a couple here on the end that I missed. All right, we got Frosty the Snowman. Look at him. How tall is he? He is five feet tall. You gotta love Frosty and his magic hat. And then we got Olaf from the Frozen movie. And then Jack Skellington. Yes, you gotta love Jack Skellington. And then all of these on the second and bottom shelf are all Grinches. Look at this. This is pretty cool. He's five and a half feet tall. He's a Grinch. And he has a wreath that says, is it December 26th? It's not this one up here. And I don't see him anywhere. But all of those over there, those are the five and a half foot Grinches. Oh my gosh, they are so totally stocked this season. Look at this, all of these are inflatables too. All right, Gingerbread Boy, Snowman, we already saw most of these. All right, look at this, Christmas Present Drop-Off. That's an inflatable. And here's a giant bulb. What do you want a ginormous inflatable Christmas bulb for? This is cool though, a blow-up inflatable mailbox. That's cool, it says Santa's letters on it. Oh, and we got the blow-up standing reindeer. That one's kind of cool. Look at this. Another, it's an ornament. It's not a light. It's a blow-up ornament. How tall is that thing? What a four-foot tall ornament. <laughs> what the heck? Here's one we haven't seen. The beautiful angel. She's praying, and she's also jolly. Here's a Santa with some presents and a wish list. It says, Dear Santa, here is what I want for Christmas. Oh, here's the campfire Santa. Oh, it's a dog. I thought it was a reindeer he was sitting there with. And look, they're roasting marshmallows. Okay, now these are cool. Look at this. It's a two and a half foot elf that sits in the car seat with you. So you drive down the street with that sitting beside you. And they also have a Clark Griswold. How hilarious is that? Here's a little inflatable Santa dinosaur. Well, I guess he's not too little. He's six feet tall. Look at this. He has a sucker. What in the world? Here's another little inflatable Seasons Greetings. That's three and a half feet tall. That's kind of cool. Ooh, and a baby dinosaur. I don't think we've seen this one yet. I like that little guy. He reminds me of the Sinclair dinosaur from the gas station. I don't think we've seen this one either, the puppy with a stocking. Look at that, he's like eating the stocking. Please, sir, don't eat the gifts in the stocking. Oh, look, we have an animated pop-up reindeer in a chimney. He goes up and down inside of the uh, chimney and out. What in the world is this? It's the Grinch. Hang on Grinch, it's called. Easily hangs from porches, doors, walls, and more. So it's like the back of the Grinch hanging on to your house like he was trying to crawl up and steal your presents. Oh, I see. You can put him with his face out, too, if you want. Look, they also have the same thing in a Jack Skellington, if you want to hang him from your house. And a Santa. You can do the same thing, like he fell off your roof and he's hanging on for dear life. Here's a bunch of yard decorations that are not inflatables. Oh my gosh, look at this one. It's a camper. 
it's a metal, no, it's not metal, it's fake metal. <laughs> it's a metal look camper. It's probably like plastic though. 30 inches in length, so that's two and a half feet long. Here's our awesome red truck with the Christmas tree in the back. We got a Santa holding a Christmas tree. A polar bear, what is that, glass? I bet it's just plastic, but it looks glass. Here's a reindeer in the same kind of uh, design or whatever you want to call it. I bet it's just plastic. Here's a couple other reindeers. Hello, reindeer friends. Then we got the wire reindeers, of course. You always see these wired uh, decorations. And here's these spiral trees. I think these are like really easy to set up. I think they basically just collapse. Oh my gosh, look, it's a set of four Santa lawn stakes. These are sweet. You'd need about 10 boxes though to do it right. Oh, look at this glowing snowflake LED lanterns. Try me, okay? That is awesome. I'd love to have a bunch of those lining outside too. Tons of wrapping paper and ribbons and bows. They always have a huge selection in here. And look at this, the red and black plaid. You gotta love that. I love it so much. And that's actually a nice big roll instead of the ones out there that make it look like you get a lot. This is 24 yards, guys. That is a deal. Oh, I love this one too. The red truck with the Christmas tree in the back. Here's all the tree toppers, snowflakes and stars. I think they all light up. Look, we got the regular angels. Yes, we got snow globes. All right, let's check these out. Yeah, check that out, that is awesome. I love snow globes. This is musical too. That one doesn't work, let's try this one. First, let's get it snowing. There you go. It's a snow blizzard and Santa's trying just to build a train. There you go, there's the music. Oh, look at this, guys. This is cool. All right, let's pull it out of here for a second. It's a moving water lantern. Watch this. Lights up, and then it blows the snow up. So you don't have to actually lift it up and turn it upside down to make it snow. That is awesome. Oh, this is all stuff that you can set up your own Christmas village. Look, we got trees. We even have cows. Cow friends, horse friends, a cat friend chicken friends. <laughs> and look, there's even a Walmart super center you can add to your setup. Okay. More snow globes. Okay, look at this. We have owls. That is awesome. You just want to stop and listen to the music. Ah, okay. So much for you owls. We have uh, cardinals here. Yeah, look at that. That is awesome. I love snow globes. Oh, look at this one. It's another water lantern. And it's the kind... Look, you can see the thing in the bottom there that's spinning to make all the uh, the sparkly snow fly around. That is pretty awesome. Yes, here's one with our uh, truck. All right, give us the snow. Sparkly snow. <laughs> that's cool. All right, let's take a look down this aisle. This is all the Christmas cards. They have a ton to choose from. I would love to find the Charlie Brown cards. Of course, this is awesome. Once again, our red truck. There's no tree in the back though. I feel cheated. Look, we got Santa hats over here. I totally need to get a Santa hat. Wait a minute. Look at this. It's a really long Santa hat. Ah, oh, these are awesome too. Look at this, these stocking holders. It's like a gingerbread candy house. That is cool. Wow, that's pretty heavy too. Of course, I guess it needs to be heavy in order to hook your stocking on. And then here's one with Santa. These must all just be uh, like handmade because they're the same, but there's slight differences. Here's a snowman too. That one looks pretty cool. I'd love to make these. How many times have your parents said this? That's it, I'm calling Santa. All right, we got a ton of Christmas tree lights here. What in the heck is this? LED snowman. There's no try me button, but somehow he lights up. Same with the Santa here. Okay, look at this. Here's a tip. Look at these flameless LED pillar candles. You just put a battery in here and it lights up just like a regular candle and it flickers and everything. These come in packs of four for like 30 bucks. Look at this, these are $2 each. Buy them now red rope lights we got blue rope lights and white clear ones oh look at this we have a led cool white and blue eight function crystal 
icicle lights. Those are cool. Oh my gosh, guys, look at these huge ones. Set of four multicolored jumbo bulb lawn stakes. These are awesome. Look how big they are. They're the size of my hand. Look, here's the yearly Christmas bears. They always put out new bears with the year on its paw. Okay, here's some awesome ornaments. Now, I absolutely love these right here with the Santa face. They're clear ornaments, and then if you look close, you can see there's snow on the inside. It's like these little foam balls. If you were crafty enough, you could get the blank ones and make them yourself. Paint the Santas on there, put the little foam fake snow inside there, and you'd have these, only you would have made them yourself. Oh my gosh, look, it's a llama ornament. That is hilarious. An RV ornament. Look at this, and it has lights and a tree on top. Oh my god. There's a whole bunch of cool ornaments here. But I'm really surprised I don't see any of the character ornaments. You know, like they always have like Elf and uh, Clark Griswold and stuff like that. But I don't see any of those here. Here's some uh, antlers, though. <laughs> and here's a little camper. I believe somebody actually sent us a little camper like this not too long ago. I probably have it in my box. Maybe it was Wally. Hmm, I honestly don't remember who sent us that. Look, they have a couple other uh, inflatables up here I didn't see. The Clark Griswold and the Elf, those are hilarious. I mean, we saw them down there in the boxes, but I've never seen them blown up like this before. All right, I think we've pretty much seen all the fun stuff, so let's move on to the next store. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.